1976, I did my first Tonight Show, and I got launched. I was gone. I mean, I, I was in the unemployment line one day, and the next day after my first Tonight Show, my whole life changed. I, I, I you know, I started doing Dinosaur, Merv Griffin, Mike Douglas, Johnny Carson, Midnight Special, Rock Concert, Soul Train, American Bandstand. I was on my way, touring with Sammy Davis. I kept coming back to L.A. And, and trying out new material at the Comedy Store, which was making millions of dollars a year, and yet they weren't paying the comedians any money. You know, I never thought of it as anything but a workshop. I'd get up, but there'd be lines around the block. And one night in the main room, where they used to give Rodney Dangerfield the whole door, he would get the door. The other room, the original room, was where the comics worked for free. Well, one night, I went and they said, you're in the main room. I said, I'm in the main room. They said, yeah. I went in and I was on stage with five unknowns, Robin Williams, David Letterman, Jay Leno, Elaine Boozler, and Tom Dreesen, the five of us, and the room was packed. And afterward, Jay Leno said, we didn't get one dime. We filled that room just like the stars who get the door. And he got very angry about it. And the next thing you know, he called a meeting. And we, I, I kept going to the meetings. And the comedians, most comedians are insecure, neurotic, love star of Rex, but they could not get organized. And because I came from Chicago, I was in the JCs, really? a city group. I knew how to organize. And also, I had been in the Teamsters Union. I loaded trucks, and then I also dropped that card and became management. So I had been involved in organizing and in arbitration. So I got them all organized. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, we were a force to be reckoned with. And it took us eight weeks. We walked picket lines. But we finally got the comedy store to pay. Because of the sacrifice those kids made and walked that picket line eight weeks, 19 kids did not. They crossed, they crossed the line and kept it going for eight weeks. But when they won, when those kids won, comedy clubs all around America began to pay the comedians. So it was a pivotal point in the world of comedy. Yeah, uh, the kids could make a living now, not make a living, but at least be able to have groceries and still work on their craft. Thanks to you and, and Jay and David. And David. a lot of other people that walked that picket line, yeah. And mm -hmm. Elaine Boozler and you know, a lot of other people. I'm Irene Michaels from Eye on the Scene, and thank you so much for being here with myself and, and Tom today, the man of many talents. Yeah.